What's happening guys, Caldic CC here. <clears throat> I'm gonna be doing another state of things video discussion while doing a quest board. If I am if I'm doing the quest board shit, I apologize, you know, but I'm reading from a sheet this time. Cause um yeah, I'm gonna kinda just sort of keep it more so to the point and everything. Um so I've re I'm written it all day and on a sheet and everything. Okay, so the first big news is the COVID after effects symptoms, right? So there's a big issue at the moment with regards to what happens when you get COVID because people think, oh, it's not that deadly percentage wise. But apparently there's a lot of nasty after effects after you get it. So it can actually lead to sort of like heavy damage of organs, people suffering with depression, massive fatigue, um, you know, lung scarring other issues so we could be seeing that a lot of these coronavirus patients who are thinking they're out of the water actually end up dying from secondary symptoms so it's something to take note of very important right at the moment we're seeing a um i think it was 17 countries took part in this survey and it's a 54 percent glob glob global job uncertainty right which is high if you think about it there's 54 percent of people who have jobs in these countries are worried about losing them that's a fucking lot of jobs. When you think about, like, you know, um, percentage-wise, when you think about uh, unemployment and stuff like that, 50, imagine a country having 54% unemployment, like, do you know what I mean? So that's something to take note of. Okay, the France beheading. I'm going to be careful what I say here, right? This is my perception of it, right? Okay, France, go on about how radical Islam is one of the biggest dangers to the country. And if that's the case, why are they letting a newspaper or fucking whatever it is, cartoon thing, like Charlie Hebdo, taking the piss out of Islam then? It's stupid. Do you know what I mean? And it's a very important thing about freedom of speech. It's like, you know, freedom of speech is there and that's fine. But then, you know, if you're going to have the freedom of speech to take the piss out of religion and, you know, a religion like Islam, which have got a lot of very fucking passionate, you know, people about it, to the point that they'll go and kill you if you fuck with their religion... Right then, they have the freedom to extremism. It's as simple as that. So do you know what I mean? If you if you go up to a Muslim and take the piss at Muhammad, they got the freedom to then kill you. Ask freedom. Do you know what I mean? They might go to jail for it, but they they'll kill you, kill you. Do you know what I mean? So like France need to fucking check that. And it's just be careful when it comes to Islam and stuff like that. I mean, fuck it. I know I, I I say I say you know my piece about Islam, um, but I'm more specific about what countries I fucking can't stand with it. You know. But overall, I can understand the and appreciate the passion that goes behind some some Muslims. Do you know what I mean? It's like I'm not being funny. If someone came up to me and said, "Oh, you know, the Celtic ancestry, bunch of fucking cunts or something," or so, I'd, I'd smash their teeth into the concrete. Do you know what I mean? So you gotta you gotta understand stuff like that, right? Okay, so basically the world's on. Oh no, this is quite an important one as well, right? With regards to oil, I've been going on about oil. Um, it's bad news. Globally, at current uh, consumption rate, we've got 43 years of oil left, right? Um, any of you, or you know people who are planning to have children, tell, tell them not to have children. Do you know what I mean? 43 years of oil is not good. Globally, at con consumption rate, the consumption rate is going to keep increasing because the population keeps increasing, stuff like that. So, don't have children. That's, that's my advice. As, as, as Ash is saying, just fucking avoid it. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, <laughs> that's about it with that. I'm 43 years of oil left and it's going to get bad when, you know, countries go to war when they start running out. That's 43 years of oil. It might be, you know, certain areas run out and then the other countries go go for war. So it's kind of like, you know, the globe's in a sort of like situation where we're fucking going to end up going to war. It's as simple as that. Right, okay. Right, so basically the world's also on a second lockdown pretty much. Um, USA's actually gone into a third lockdown in a way. A um, lot of rioting, civil unrest are in the world. Um, everywhere. The amount of videos I keep seeing for fucking people rioting everywhere. I saw a good one with the checks. Fair play the checks. They were getting fucking stuck in. It was fun, man. They, they were getting right stuck in there. Like, do you know what I mean? So big up to the checks. I, I, I fucking thought you guys were awesome the way you were rioting. Wicked. Right. Um, what, what else there? Right. So Apocalypse Chat on Reddit. Um, hang on. I can't remember what it is. I had Apocalypse Chat on Reddit, did I? Oh, right. Yeah. So the Apocalypse Chat on Reddit. I was talking to someone um, about things. Basically, um, down level in certainty at the moment, science is saying we are going to have to reach a, pop a population of 500 to a billion billion people. So it's looking like a scientific certainty that the, the planet's going to need to lose 
uh, like seven billion people at the moment. So just to put it into perspective, which kind of sucks. Like, do you know what I mean? It's like, you know, um, yeah. Sorry if you got kids. Like, don't know what else to say. Right. So, right. One in five American citizens are out of money by election day. Apparently, um, that's the report. You know, so it's bad for America. One in five completely out of money by election day. It's not good. Right. Um, America is looking at having forty million homeless um, expected at some point. Forty million homeless. So um, yeah, things are bad in America at the moment. You know, Trump's done a fucking shit job, basically. Do you know what I mean? And right. So um, what else is there? America has got record. Has had record wildfires um, in California and Colorado. Um, we're also seeing a lot of Amazon. Um, at one point, there's one patch that's like the size of Britain on fire at the moment in the, in the Amazon. So um, yeah, definitely. If you've got any sort of spare money to help out uh, with the fucking Amazon, that'd be cool. I would also say, you know, if you're thinking about buying any sort of like furniture or stuff like that, don't. Do you know what I mean? Have a think about, you know, wood and stuff. Just fucking. Spend the rest of your life with the furniture you got if you can, do you know what I mean? That's another big thing. Like if we got a place called uh, Oak Furniture Land in the UK, they're a bunch of fucking devils. Do you know what I mean? The Oak's face acre tree. You shouldn't be uh, making Oak furniture. Such a big capitalised thing. Bunch of cunts. Right. Uh, Japan. Right. And this is pissing me off with Japan because Japan are, are normally good. But I know like this isn't the people because like the people have got a really good sort of recycling <coughs> environmental mentality. But the fucking, you know, Fukushima, whoever saw it there, were talking about chucking the stored radioactive water back into the fucking Pacific, which is just dumb, like. Do you know what I mean? The Pacific's fucked as it is. I don't know if you've seen there. There was a picture of a fucking shark with, like, this massive tumour on his face. And some guy as well was seeing, he sees, like, jellyfish the size of fucking, like, sh- like shopping carts going past, um, in, past California and stuff like that on the cold. You say he's never seen anything like it. It's like they got mutated jellyfish and shit like that. The, you know, the fucking sea's fucked, like, do you know what I mean? Like, I can't understand why Japan are even considering chucking all the water back into, um, back into the sea from Fukushima. It's just fucking dumb, like, do you know what I mean? Um, okay, so UK, um, news as well. I watched this guy, he said 200,000 people are losing their jobs in London in the hospitality sector. He's very focused, this guy's very focused on the hospitality sector. I mean, we got major problems in fucking, you know, UK as is. I mean, I'm unemployed, I'm, but I'm not going on job seekers. I'm just fucking uh, using my savings up at the moment, you know what I mean? But, you know, so obviously there's a major unemployment situation in um, in UK as well. Uh, basically, the hospitality sector something like 15 billion a year income for... Uh, Britain, and that's just that. That's just fuck. They, I see, I seen them. They were protesting outside the House and Parliament, playing. They were actually kind of cool protests. Actually, they they were playing like classical instruments and stuff. It, it, it was cool, like do you know what I mean. But the hospitality sector is fuck. Like do you know what I mean. I mean, uh, I seen another thing, like you know, a video of um, it was what was it cruise ships? Uh, cruise ships, yeah. So they were um, scrapping cruise ships, or you know, cutting them up for metal. So. Yeah, the cruise ship industry, they was fucking like, you know, loads of cruise ships all piled up uh, and they were just scrapping them. So it was our side of it. Okay. Right, um, environmental, this is a really bad environmental um, report and I, I'm really gutted to hear about this as well. Um, so, I, I, you know, I stress, you know, just get as environmental as possible, guys. Really get in your head that, you know, pollution is part of judgment, um, Mother Earth discipline and creative perception because... Uh, and get environmental and everything. Do you know what I mean? Because uh, scientists are totally baffled at the moment because the Arct- Arctic sea ice hasn't started freezing properly yet and they don't know why. It's because of climate change. Do you know what I mean? The, the scientists are panicking. Do you know what I mean? Basically, uh, it's, it's a really bad sign. And some, um, some good news, and this is like, uh, you know, what I was saying before about, you know, how I appreciate Hin- India and Hindu. Uh, India are one of the, you know, the big countries on the planet of, you know, of all the big lot. They have, they're they managing to hit climate change goals at the moment as well. I even watched a video where, you know, they, they tree transplant. So they won't just, like, chop a tree down and kill it. They'll fucking, you know, actually transport it on a truck to try and save it, these big trees and stuff like that. We don't have that in UK so much, do you know what I mean? It's like, well, I, I can't say UK, but I used to do building industry. I'm, like, I'm 
you know, just the idea of just be like, fucking cut the tree down, like, do you know what I mean? <clears throat> so don't have that tree uh, transplant mentality in the UK, not that I'm aware of anyway. Do you know what I mean? So that's really cool for India. So, um, yeah, definitely, you know, I hope one day we'll see India quite high up in the UN and stuff like that. Yeah, so that's that's it, uh, guys, with regards to the fucking video and everything. So get environmental, get your spiritual head on. I definitely recommend you get into that kind of, you know, warrior style mentality. I've watched some good Shaolin stuff and things like that. Shaolin Buddhist um, philosophy is excellent. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I'm f- I'm fucking nursing a fucking like my I did uh, what was it um, martial arts in the fucking gym last night and fucked up all my arm, got blood everywhere. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, so I I just get into that sort of like you know ready to kill or be killed mentality. I would say. Alright, cheers then. Um.